So there's been some news recently how identical twins can send their DNA to companies like 23andMe and receive different results. How can that be? Brian Resnick at Vox summarized how this could happen, and it was interesting enough to bring it to you. So while I think you should go read his original work, link down below, I also want to summarize some of the high points here. This is Healthcare Triage News. Let's start with the fact that identical twins should have identical DNA. That's the whole point. They originated from the same fertilized egg. They're identical. But some journalists showed the twins often get different results even when their data is sent to the same company. This isn't even a company to company difference. In their story, they told of one twin who was told she was 13% broadly European compared to another who was only 3% broadly European. They did this at five different companies and they got different answers from each. I should note that I had my DNA checked by Ancestry.com. They basically reported, dude, Eastern European Jew, stop bothering us. I'm not kidding. Here's the pick. More than 99% of me is from here. They conceded that maybe, possibly, less than 1% of me comes from Sweden, but likely in a large circle that also includes Eastern European Jews. Since I already knew I was of Eastern European Jewish descent, I don't feel like I learned a lot. Anyway, how can you get different results? First of all, they don't test all the DNA. We humans have like 99.9% .9 of that in common. They only look at parts where people might be different. They isolate those areas, replicate them a lot so they're easier to measure, and then compare those to known genes from certain geographic areas. But those replication processes aren't perfect. They're good, but they're not perfect. They make a mistake like 0.1% of the time. Unfortunately, when you're processing like a million locations on a gene, that means a thousand mistakes. Those mistakes make it so that even identical twins can get different results. Plus, they have to match those genetic bits of you and me to a database of genetic bits they think are from certain areas of the world. There's not one database for that. Each of the companies has their own, so different companies might get different results. And it's not like an easy match em up process. There's a computer program that makes a best guess. When different countries have similar genetics, like England and Ireland for example, the computer might sway one way or the other based on small differences. Except for me. Fully Eastern European Jewish, no doubt lock it in. So when you're using one of those services, bear in mind their guesses are full of imperfections. No one has a lock in the truth. They're telling you only about genetics, not about where people come from. They're also only telling you about the DNA you inherited, not everyone you're related to. They're full of gaps. Act accordingly. Hey, do you like the show? It really helps if you like the video and really if you subscribe right down there. And another good way to support the show is at patreon.com. Go to patreon.com slash healthcare triage. We'd really like to thank our research associate, Joe Sevitz, and our surgeon, Admiral Sam. And if you love healthcare triage content, get even more at the Healthcare Triage Podcast. It's great. Get it at iTunes or Spotify or wherever you download your podcast content. 